We started detecting gravitational anomalies almost 50 years ago, mostly small distortions to our instruments in the upper atmosphere. In fact, I believe you encountered one yourself. I crashed something, tripped my flyby wire. Exactly. But of all these anomalies, the most significant wait, 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 wait. is this. So in the future, which is like 50 years in the future, maybe, these little like space-time warp nodules are going to come floating through the atmosphere and be like, fly-by wire? Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, your toast. I don't like that. I don't, no, like, I don't like that. Burn you up. It's going to come through and then do nothing else. Just gonna, I'm going to leave. Huh. What are yeah. these little space-time knots doing floating around that have never existed before? Where, where are they coming from? Yeah, yeah. I guess they're <laughs> in this movie. They're saying they're coming from the wormhole. The little oh. like little ding ding ding. Like, hey, listen to me. Come find me. <laughs> the little shoots, little wormhole shooting little shots of dark. I don't know, dark matter, dark energy, some mm -hmm. little gravitational ball. I and see. It's like so instead Cooper of ship, boop. instead of sending a message, they're like, we're just gonna sprinkle little little, little gravity little balls at them. A little bit of risk up. for your life. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you die, you'll be like, oh, what happened there? Hmm. What happened oh, there? Gravity oh, gravity ball. Wormhole. Oh, wormhole. <laughs> Clearly. But I mean, but actually, that's what worked, right? Cause I think Rommel's explaining it. Romilly? Romilly is explaining it. Like these anomalies have started occurring all over the place and we started looking and they found it here, ready? Out near Saturn, a disturbance of space time. Oh, nope. wouldn't have been looking unless they had those little little knots buzzed around. Nope. Yeah, wouldn't have been looking. If it had been a regular message, we wouldn't have been looking. Years ago. I would have turned it off as a regular message. Yeah, boring. Another galaxy. Now, wormhole is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. Someone placed it there. They. And whoever they are, they appear to be looking out for us. That wormhole lets us travel to other stars. Came along right as we needed it. They've put potentially habitable worlds right within our reach. Okay. First thing, they said that a wormhole is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. H how did they know that? You don't f***ing know that. It might, it might that. be natural. It might be. You don't know. All right. That's purely a supposition. Right. I mean, I, it's a good guess, but to say absolutely, absolutely, nature says no. I mean, even is it is it even a good guess? Like, like a wormhole appears, and they're like, somebody must have put it there. But it also could have just appeared on its own. That's right. Like, and, yeah, it's kind of like you don't have a, enough information at all to, to go draw either conclusions. way. Yeah. yeah. And you probably leave open some other possibilities of like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. Also, they were like, they built the wormhole. To save us by by what sending humanity to a gargantuan black hole? What, <laughs> That's right. what is That's this? Right. It's like, like here's here's your salvation. Here's a place you can live, but it's gonna be a painful existence. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. Send us just, to a nice place. Like, yeah. Well, just put an atmosphere on Mars for us. There you go. Easy. That's right. You got the power to make wormholes. You got the power to just make Venus temperate climate. Exactly. You just fix Venus. Tropical. Fix Mars. Boom. Yeah. Done. Done. Fix the blight. Huh. What do you, fix the blight for us. Yeah. What do we, fix the blight. That's right. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> no, we need long shot black uh, wormholes to. <laughs> like, the aliens are like, I want to see if these aliens, these humans, I want to see if they'll risk it. <laughs> I want to see if they'll risk it for the biscuit. Let's see what they can do here. <laughs> hey. Hey, step up or die. Step or die. That's right. Also, in this presentation, they say that this goes to, this wormhole goes to another galaxy. But like, you don't know that. How how could you know that? Like all I mean, you know I, is that it goes to another star system somewhere. Didn't they send probes? Sure. Did they send? But even if you sent a probe, how what would it? How would it know that it's in a different galaxy? So, uh, so I guess if you're if you're in the same galaxy mm -hmm. as the Milky Way, mm -hmm. and you sent something that could do like sky surveys, you okay. could look for galaxies and galaxy clusters in the same spots as we see and that could conclude it's in the same neighborhood okay. as us okay 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 i think you're blowing apart my idea let me see if i get it okay so okay. so if you get if you send a probe just teleport it to the other side of the galaxy mm -hmm. so my concern was that you wouldn't know what stars look like like star formations look like from mm -hmm. that location's perspective like mm -hmm. all of the constellations in our sky our sky those mm -hmm. are the the where the stars located from our particular perspective on earth mm -hmm. yeah okay but what you're saying is you're saying no 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 zoom out even further look at look out for other galaxies that are distant because mm -hmm. even if you're in the same galaxy it's we're, we're far away you're on this other side of the milky way those galaxies are going to look effectively the same because they're, they're super far away right 
Well, f- well, f- okay, good. Well, I mean, I would, okay, but it, I don't think it would be as conclu- I, I don't think it would be conclusive because, like, what if you were an Andromeda? Uh-huh. It would still look pretty much the same. Or That's any right. good point. Near good point. Yeah. So you could be like, maybe it's close by. I think you could say it's probably in the local group mm-hmm. or not in the local group or something. Right. But I don't know if you could. Would it even be worth to send a probe to do that? I mean, what's what's to gain out of it? It's whether it's on the other side of the Milky Way or across the universe. There's no other way to get there besides this wormhole anyway. Right. So to us, it might as well be the same distance. And like, it's not like any one place is more dangerous than any other place. Like, you don't just Mm -hmm. just another place. Right. But it turns out this one has a black hole. That's right. So, well, so if we determine that they, it's not worth the effort to send this like sky survey thing to locate Mm -hmm. where they are, how did they know it was in another galaxy? There's no way. They're just guessing. They're just guessing. They're just guessing. Yeah. Yeah. NASA, and, but a bunch, of, <laughs> a bunch of guessers, a bunch of people that don't know what they're talking about because that's science. <laughs> that's hey, they said it with confidence. It's true. That's right. I mean, we talk shit, but they're, they're clearly well funded. <laughs> they convince the funding agencies to keep putting in money. Right. The funding agencies that do exist. All right. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool presentation, though. I'd love to listen to it. <laughs>